Hey everybody, I think we're live. Let's see, I do believe we are live. Happy Thursday everybody. I've got a topic for you today about high notes. Do you avoid them? Are you, I don't even know how to turn that ding off. I hate it, let me get rid of that. Okay, high notes. Who avoids them? Who loves them? Do you have a love-hate relationship with them? Sometimes you get them and they're amazing and sometimes you don't and you never really know what's gonna come out. So maybe you avoid them because you don't really know what's gonna come out. Whatever your situation is, I wanna talk about high notes today because it's something that singers are always writing me about and always commenting about. So let's get into it. In order to understand how to conquer high notes, we've got to understand the weird reason that your high notes suffer in the first place. And it is not what you think. I'm thinking here and I'm like, wouldn't it be totally amazing if you could just have free and easy access to the high parts of your voice, to the high notes every single time? Like where you would never strain, you would never tense up, you would never crack, you would never feel anxious about what sound was gonna come out. I mean, that would be incredible. I mean, let's face it, it's the holy grail for singers, right? And here's the thing. There's a really good reason that you are frustrated with high notes. And guess what? It's not your fault. Odds are that nobody has ever told you about the real reason that your high notes suffer. You guys, my dog is doing the weirdest thing on the floor right now. I wish I could move this computer to show you. He doesn't have to worry about his high notes. He howls at the top of his lungs. Anyway, sorry, I got distracted. So in order to conquer high notes, you gotta understand the real reason that they suffer in the first place. And without understanding that, there's really no way that you can shift it. And it has nothing to do with having a low voice. Even if you have a low voice, you have what are considered high notes for you, for your voice type, right? So it has nothing to do with having a low voice. It has nothing having to do with picking the wrong key for songs for you. It has nothing to do with um, not doing the right vocal exercises to increase your range. The main reason that your high notes suffer is because you expect them to. And I know you're listening to me say this and you're like, no, I don't. Why would I expect them to suck? Like, I, I, I want them to be amazing. I hope that they're amazing. I know you do. And most of you who have issues with high notes is because in the song or the phrase leading up to that note, what's going on in your brain? Oh my God, I hope I get it. Oh my God, I hope it comes out. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna push for it. I'm gonna hope that it goes. I'm gonna cross my fingers. Oh my God, I'm worried about it. Is it gonna come out? Am I gonna crack? Am I gonna completely lose the song? Am I gonna lose my breath? Am I gonna be flat? That's what's going on in your subconscious mind before that high note. And all of that is led by an expectation that you can't do it. Now, look, you may have tons of data that in the past, you've not been able to do it. And so now there's a fear that has been set up because your mind, look guys, your mind is always looking for data on things. You're always looking for data and to make meaning. And that, that's just what our brains are built to do. If you think about it, it's a survival mechanism, right? Go back to caveman times. You see a tiger prince in the mud, brain is like, oh, I've seen that before. That means there's a tiger there. I'm not going that direction. So in the moment of singing, your you know, lizard brain is going, oh my God, I've been here before and I know that that is leading me to a scary place that I, I don't know what's gonna happen over there so I don't wanna go there. That's what's going on subconsciously in the mind. And when you do that, now you're in your body in a way that has created a contraction. And when your body is in that contraction, you cannot, I don't care how much good technique that you intellectually understand, you cannot access it. If your brain is sabotaging your body from using it, if you're in that physical contraction created by the expectation that you're not even present to, that's running the show. And so if you've not been able to do a high note before, or if you, if you do it sometimes, but you can't rely on it, 
now mind is looking at all this data going, well, this is not going to go very well. And now it's created a contraction around it. And it's either going to push because you don't want to fail. So you're going to push and you're going to, in essence, you know, make it happen, come hell or high water, or you're going to fear, you're going to back away. You're going to flee from it, right? But either one of those things causes a reaction in your body that actually prevents you from accessing the technique that you would otherwise understand and employ that in that moment. Now, if you don't have reliable technique for a high note, that's one issue. But I can't tell you how many untrained singers I've come across who don't have that expectation, high notes are hard, right? Because if, if you have that expectation, high notes are hard, you actually create the difficulty for yourself by making it way worse by how your body reacts to that idea. High notes are hard because if something is hard, you're going to push for it or you don't want to deal with it, so you run away from it. Either way, you're creating the circumstances in your technique, in your body, that actually create the very bad high note that you were fearing in the first place. And so understanding that even with the best technique in the world, you're not going to find consistency in your high notes if you've got unexamined expectations going on in your mind. So the very first thing that you need to understand is what is going on up here that is sabotaging your high notes. What expectations do you have around them? Well, I've never been able to get them. Well, that'll, that'll mess you up for sure. The idea, like I was saying before, high notes are hard, right? Or my choir teacher in fifth grade told me I had a low voice, so I should, I'm not even gonna try. You don't even try and then you abdicate. And you don't, even, you don't even do things that would actually allow you to access that part of your voice. Because of, you have this expectation that that's not what your voice is, it's not who you are. So look at the stories that you're telling yourself around your high notes. Look at the expectations that you have around high notes. That which we think we create, for better or for worse. Because our thoughts get taken in and filtered down into our body. And so if you're in a place where you're not happy with how your high notes are going, with your consistency in your high notes, look at what's going on. Do you expect them to be scary? Do you expect them to be inconsistent, right? And I understand, because I know you guys are gonna comment on this. Yeah, but I've never been able to get it right. Or it's, it's always, I crack on it. I've never been able to do it. I get that, I do. But no technique that, that I could give you is going to stop you from contracting in that moment if you haven't dealt with the expectation. And so all of this is, is to say that, you know, there's a saying, if you take your yesterday into your today, then tomorrow is going to look exactly like yesterday. So if you take what has happened in the last week, month, year of your high notes, and you create stories around that and expectations around that. What you're doing is you're taking that into your today, into the moment that you have to sing that high note. And guess what's going to happen? That high note is going to look exactly like those every single time. It doesn't matter if you have the best teacher in the world who's teaching you. If they're not addressing that, your high notes will continue to suffer and you will continue to be inconsistent. Okay? Now, as with everything, it is, at least the way I teach, the reason that we have such big, big breakthroughs and trans transformations of our singers who come work with me in, in the intensive program. The reason why is because we're not just tweaking one dial. We're not, we're not just tweaking the mindset dial. Mindset without a skill set to back it up, not gonna work either. Skill set without a mindset to back it up, also not gonna work. So it's only ever two dials. It's your skill set and your mindset, otherwise known as your techniques and your psychology. That's it. So it's actually very simple. And so once you understand that, and once you understand what's been going on up there on your high notes, 
then your body's natural capacity to make a really powerful sound all the way up to the top of your range will emerge. Like I said, even if you don't have high level technique, you will still be able to sing 50% better high notes than you did before if you annihilate what's going on in, in the mind trash around it. Because your body, guys, your body knows how to make a resonant sound. It knows how to make a good sound. Singers who work with me in the intensive, we spend like a lot of time doing what I call sirening. So there will be a singer who, you know, let's say is trying to do the high note at the end of like, whatever, Phantom of the Opera, like Christine, think of me, right? In, the, in that um, song from Phantom. And she'll be having a really hard time getting it. And she's frustrated and she doesn't understand why and it's not going right. And I will say to her, okay, put the song aside for a second. Can you just siren in your range? Can you just like motor around in your range? And they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, you know, do a siren, like, woo, like something like that. Woo, 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 woo. But they, you know, sirens, okay? And God, you guys, this is bugging me. I can't, my computer just continues to ding. And if I turn it off, then I will mute and I don't think I, you guys would hear me. I don't know. Somebody can give me some tech support around that. Anyway, so they're sirening, right? So she's going, woo! And I'm like, okay, you just sirened all the way up past that high note. So why do you think you can siren up there and that comes out? But in the context of the song, that same note cracks or you're flat or it's tight and it strains. Why? Why can you get up there so easily on the siren, but not in the context of the song? Why? Because of what we were just talking about. She does not expect the siren to go wrong because she's, she's just sirening. There's no meaning around it. It's not, it, she doesn't have to perform. It doesn't have to be good. She doesn't have to show her beautiful high notes. There's no expectation around it. So she just does it and she sirens. Woo, beautiful. Because we have in her mind, a different expectation, a different meaning is around a siren. And so her body intrinsically knows how to make that sound. And so does yours. You can siren to the top of your range nine times out of 10, way higher than what you can sing in a song because of the mindset being very different. There's no expectations. There's no stories. There's nothing creating any pressure, any expectation around a siren. And so when you understand that your body was built to do this, that's the trust that a siren sets up. Your body was built to do this. Her body was built to do that, which is why she can siren. Her natural capacity of, for making that powerful sound all the way up to the top of her range is tapped into. Once she understands and, and, and busts through the limiting beliefs, the old stories, the, the mind trash, the expectations, that's the only thing sabotaging her in the context of the song. There's zero reason why if she can't siren it, she can do it in the song. Because there's no more anxiety of, uh oh, here comes the high note. Because she all of a sudden trusts her body. She knows how to siren. Oh, if I can do that, I can do this. And so imagine then all of a sudden having that certainty. And now she goes into the, to the end of the Phantom song. And there it is. No problem. Because she stopped, she got rid of the expectation that was sabotaging her, okay? So imagine you guys, imagine your high notes being like the most fun part of your voice to sing in. It's the best. You have a God-given range and you can move through it. And what we gotta teach you how to do is get out of your own way so that those things emerge and the technique that you otherwise understand can support you to that. And it's so much fun when you can access it. Dude, they're called the money notes for a reason. <laughs> Because without real power and reliability at the top of your range, it's really impossible to win gigs, auditions, make the kind of impact you need at a high level career. Now don't, put, don't mistake me. I'm not saying you have to have a high voice in order to have a high level career and win gigs and auditions. I am not saying that. I'm saying that you need to be able to access with power and reliability and ease and consistency the top of your range, the full scope of your range, that you absolutely need to know how to do if you're gonna be able to make the kind of impact that wins auditions, gigs, gets you the high level career. 
Because without it, you're just gonna be tied to a day job that you hate, feeling unfulfilled, surviving rather than thriving, watching other singers who know how to do that get paid to do what they love, but not you. So you need to know this. And so if you're sick and tired of not having the tools and the techniques to enable you to really access the full power and potential of your entire voice, your whole range, and stop winging it so you know you can deliver, stand out from the competition, live a real and successful singing career, then get on my calendar and book a call with me. I'm gonna put this in the chat. You have been spinning your wheels long enough, okay? This is the lick, I'm doing it right now. Book a call. And if you're watching this in the replay on YouTube, then in the end card, you'll be able to click a link and you can book a call right there, okay? So here it is. Get on my calendar. There is zero reason why you should not be able to reach those high notes consistently, why you should not have the entire scope of your range at your fingertips easily and efficiently and reliably whenever you want, especially if you are going for a high level singing career. That is a must, okay? And so if you've been spinning your wheels and you're not able to do that, despite a lot of training, despite a lot of experience, it still makes you insecure. You still don't know how to, to, to conquer them. Then you know something's wrong. Something's not working right. And so get on my calendar, book a call with me, okay? Call is free and I make it free because I wanna share the same strategy with you that we use with the singers in my program that eliminate the mind-body sabotage that's stopping you from being able to have the full access, the full range and full potential of your voice. And also annihilate the angst and the fear that goes along with it that just creates even more inability to do what you wanna do. So to get rid of that sabotage of mind and body and fear and angst once and for all so that you can absolutely learn how to create that impact and consistency, and yes, high notes, that ushers in high level singing careers. And you might already have a great career going on, but you also might be insecure on those high notes. You might be performing every single night and you might be shying away from the songs that actually take you up there. You might actually have a fantastic part in a Broadway show right now, but your high notes are getting more tense, more strained, more restricted, and you know that at a certain point it's gonna give and you are gonna crack on that stage. And if you do that enough, they're gonna put your swing in for you and you're not gonna be able to keep that role. So all of this is to say that there's a way to do that consistency and you should not have to settle for anything less. And so I wanna be very clear, if you wanna book a call with me to, to talk about strategy and how we do this and see, you know, get very clear on what has been sabotaging you, I just wanna be very clear about who this call is for, okay? So this is not for singers who are dabblers, new singers, people who just want to sing better at karaoke or want to sing better at their cousin's wedding or at church or whatever. This is not for people who just want to kick some tires and get some free advice. This call is only for serious singers who are serious about up-leveling their voice, their career, and serious about doing that right now. Not like in a year from now when maybe I'll, you know, get around to it or not like, well, maybe like in a couple months from now, let me see how I do on these auditions. Guys, if you're not succeeding, don't waste any more time. The year is coming to an end, okay? And I wanna set you up to win in 2024 with high notes that are rocking and reliable where everybody's like, oh my God, I can't wait for that guy to get on stage. He's amazing, okay? That's what I want for you. So. If that's you and you're serious about getting help and serious about building a voice and a career that is sustainable, that brings you gigs and income and opportunities, or if you already have that kind of career but you wanna up level and you know you need more consistency and more trust in your instrument to do that, don't waste time. Get on my call calendar, book that call. We'll talk for about 
45 minutes. We're going to talk about what's going wrong, what isn't feeling right. We're going to talk about some of these mindset things. We're going to see where your mind and body connection is broken. And I'm going to share with you the strategies that I use with our singers to be able to build that. And if you're a fit and it feels like that, if we're a fit to work together, then I'll tell you what that looks like. And if not, that's okay too. I'll point you in another direction that's a better fit for you, okay? But either way, if it's you, click the link in the in the chat on Facebook or in the end card on YouTube and do it as soon as possible. Um, because we just can't have 2023 look the same way that 2024 does. And if you're gonna have 2024 look different, then you gotta be willing to do something different. And so don't waste any more time. Don't waste another year standing on the sidelines of your talent when you know you have more potential in you. And let us have a conversation to see what it could be like to bring that forth. Okay guys, have an amazing rest of your day. Start examining your expectations. If you're watching this, type it into the chat. See what you can identify around your high notes. What is your mindset around the high notes? How do I feel in my body? Even when I'm thinking about it, like think about a high note that you have to sing and feel where that contraction is in your body. Start to get really clear on where that mind-body connection is broken. And then if you wanna have a strategy call with me, and you wanna talk about how to annihilate this going into the next year, get on my call calendar. Okay, everybody, mwah, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon, bye. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into today's episode. If you wanna subscribe, click the link right over there that says subscribe. And if you wanna book a breakthrough session with me, which you absolutely should do, then click the link right over here that says book a call to schedule an appointment to speak with us. I'll see you on the next episode.